Yeah. Speaking of the Flores lawsuit, Steve Wilkes and Ray Horton joined the lawsuit against the NFL. Yeah. Uh, they say the NFL set up sham interviews with minority candidates. Mm -hmm. The lawsuit was enough to blow up the Brady to Miami. Yeah. Uh, doesn't all this prove the lawsuit is legit? <laughs> Prove the lawsuit is legit. Yeah, no, leave apologies. that in. We're gonna keep going. No, 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 Please absolutely. Don't do that to no, me. we're good. Leave that in. <laughs> um, it, it, I, I already believe the lawsuit because I think Brian Flores is a man of massive integrity and his story, unlike Brady's retirement, the story always made sense. Like it's like, yep. Did I think Dolphins were tanking? Yep. Do I think that teams regularly interview minority candidates when they have no intent of hiring them? Absolutely. And by the way, the other piece of news that came out was actually a, news from a couple of years ago. Mike Malarkey couple years ago was on a podcast and was asked about opening question about the biggest regret of his coaching career. And he said, well, in 2016, I took part of a sham interview process. I knew I had the Titans job and, but they hadn't complied with the Rooney rule. So they interviewed minority candidates that I knew weren't getting the job. That podcast was at two years ago. Nobody noticed it until right now. Now that's part of the Flores lawsuit. I just think it is such a stinging indictment of some people that run NFL teams that they are so certain there is no possible chance that there might be a black or minority person qualified to run their team that even when they know they have to spend the time, money, and energy required to do an interview, they won't even do it in good faith. It's like we have to, we have to do this. But I, I know there's no chance that the end result is I actually think this person should be able to run my team. So I would rather break the rules, waste their time, insult my own and their own dignity, rather than just go into it with like, hey, maybe this black guy is qualified for the job. It's so embarrassing for all parties involved. But yes, of course, Flores' lawsuit has massive le uh, legitimacy. And I applaud Steve Wilkes and Ray Horton for putting their names to it, even though it probably drastically hurts their future NFL jo job prospects. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.